you guys behind me here we have a Mark 1 Focus RS. So more recently guys I've been out in the uh, Mark 2 Focus RS, the Mark 3 Focus RS and again last week I was out in the Escort RS Cosworth and I thought it's only fair that I get the Mark 1 on the channel and obviously continue the theme and give you my kind of full sort of comparison through my videos. So what we're going to do guys is go around, have a walk around of the car, talk about the mods, introduce Tom who's got the mod list of, of this car, give it a start up, exhaust sound and then take it on those country lanes and then come back here and wrap up. Focus RS Mark 1. So first of all guys what we're going to talk about here is the mods that have been done to this car. So exterior wise straight away we can tell that it's got a carbon splitter around the front. A bit of carbon on this car, so carbon splitter, carbon grills around here makes the car look quite nice from the front end it already comes from the factory with these blistered wheel arches on the front and rear I think all RS's have done you've got a carbon wing mirror cap carbon door handle alloy wheels wise these are the factory OZ alloy wheels in terms of brakes it's got the AP racing brakes and some bigger brake discs you have got a aftermarket exhaust which we'll talk about when we talk about the engine mods but around the back apart from that Maxton lip everything else seems to be fairly stock. We've got a Alcantara OMP steering wheel which really gives this car a race car feel. Over here you've got a stack boost gauge so it gives you a bit more accurate information around the boost. You've got a blitz boost controller here so you can vary the boost control and over there you've got a scan gauge which gives you live diagnostics in terms of water temperature, oil temperatures etc. So all these are kind of aftermarket parts that Tom the owner has had these fitted so you know it gives you a little bit more kind of customizability in terms of driving and information readouts. Down there you've got an aluminium RS scare stick. I think that is standard I'm not sure but you can tell me otherwise and then you've got the green start stop button down there. Interesting fact guys that I didn't really know uh, Focus RS Mark 1's there were only 5,000 built around the world now you got this kind of a scuff plate here that Tom's put on it's carbon fiber which obviously is a Focus RS and this particular car is 4381 of the 5,000 globally so one of the fairly last thousand that were built anyway so yeah that's quite a nice touch over there so guys that was like a quick kind of a walk around off the car I do want to go through like say the mods that have been done to the engine Tom obviously the owner of this car did send me quite a quite a list of the stuff that he's done but you know I don't want to be flicking through my phone and you know doing this vlog so what we're gonna do now is introduce Tom and Tom's gonna talk us through some of the stuff that he's done to the car obviously engine wise suspension wise exhaust wise and all of that anyway so yeah let's flick over to Tom right now who is over there hi Tom how, how you doing guys you right yeah not bad on good. Your <laughs> um, so yeah Tom so just give us a little bit of uh, background to your car, how long you had it? That right, so, yeah, so basically I've had it 10 years, uh, coming up in uh, August this year. Um, like I say, when I, when I first had it, um, it was just, all it had was just like a, uh, just a cane and air filter and stuff on it. And like, I always, always felt like it was a quick enough car at the time, because it, it was the quickest car that, that, that I've had up to date, sort of thing, back then. But I always felt that it needed just that little bit more. So let's talk about this engine then. We flick over down to back to the engine bay. Now I know that when I, when this car came out, I went out in one and I remember opening up like say the bonnet. It didn't look much like this if I'm honest with you. So no, that's right. yeah, there's that's a few right. things there that you've done. That's so let's uh, talk us through. So basically, when I come out the factory uh, standard, they had a, uh, a charge cooler set up on there. That box, the charge cooler box, sat there, and your uh, battery, your battery sat there and filled with So we've got a uh, we've got a front mounting cooler. To keep it a little bit cooler on, on track, track and stuff. Okay, and so the turbo's so, yeah. down so, so, there. Yeah, that's a uh, that's actually a turbo dynamic stage two uh, hybrid turbo. Okay. Um, I've got a BCS uh, three inch full exhaust. It's got a single box in it. Okay. Um, we've got a JK uh, four two one branch manifold. Right. Tubular manifold. Yep. These hoses, for example. That's right. Yes, that's roof. So they're roof silicon hoses. Okay. Are they all, all of them are the same, aren't they? Because you've got quite a few kind of that's, blue that's hoses right, around yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Apart and from this there. one hose there, because that, that's sort of uh, when I'm a uh, not so longer. Right. Okay. <laughs> um, it's HT leads. Or that's they? it. So you got Magnacore HT leads. Okay. Your uh, solenoid there for your blitz boost controller. Oh, okay. So the the blitz boost controller inside. That's inside. Yes, that's, that's controlled by that, so that. you can change obviously all your boost settings right. on your turbo. 
Yeah, okay. so like I said, Peter Dean Formanson has done all this work on this car. He's, he's good. He's like, he's like a magician when it comes to these. Uh, but yeah, so that's sort of like the engine sort of thing. So it's matched by Peter as well. It's running a stage four uh, plus, plus mat. Right. In terms of horsepower? Uh, it's around about 385. Wow, all going through the uh, front, yeah, front wheels. Yeah, wheels. So yeah, so, there. Basically, so you've got the, uh, sorry, the few things I didn't, I didn't touch upon. Um, it's got RC uh, 650 uh, CC injectors. Right. Um, and it's got an upright uh, fuel pump in the tank. Right. Uh, yeah, so that's okay. all that sort of stuff. In uh, terms of, like, say, suspension mods, what are we running here? Um, right, suspension, we've got a, a BC uh, coilover set up on there. Which you can obviously yeah, you can adjust, you can adjust, adjust settings, from yeah, there. For your, uh, okay, just one thing I forgot to mention earlier on. Check these out, guys. He's even got RS valve caps. So on the front then we've got BC coilovers which That's obviously right. are all adjustable. What That's about it. around the back then? Yeah, so we've got that, we've got the same coilovers on the back there, on the rear, so you've got the same sort of setup, you can adjust it all. Okay. Um, on the back we're running, uh, we've got a white line rear anti-roll bar. We've got adjustable uh, camber arms, which are made by Hard Race. In terms of the exhausting, what have we got here? Uh, so we've got a, uh, a three inch. That's that's part of the uh, the system that we were talking about. But it's got a WRC tip on the end. Okay. So that's a WRC tip on there. So it's going to make some rally noises, right? Well, <laughs> not necessarily, but it does. It sounds all right. So. So thanks, Tom, for obviously going through all those uh, modifications. Anything that we missed out? Uh, yeah, forgot to mention. Uh, yeah, we got we got a Cas Limited slip diff in the in the box. Uh, we changed we changed the quaff diff. Brilliant. Okay. So what we're going to do now, then, guys, is give the car. A start up, some revs, and then hit those roads. What a deep rumble that. That's right, yeah. So it's running Viber, Viber Technics engine mount, so probably that's probably what you can hear a lot, the, a lot of vibration coming from there. Oh, right, okay. Um, but, but they do help, they do help with the extra power I feel, anyway. Focus RS Mark 1, guys. This particular video is going to be about this car, not F, not Focus Mark 1s in general, just about this car. Uh, first thing that I always talk about, and I've kind of said this more bit once before, it's quite important, obviously, the seating position. The seats in this, they are fairly supportive, they are sparkle seats, they are fairly supportive, they do grip you in the right places. Uh, the steering wheel especially, I've got to say, this OMP steering wheel, it's got obviously Alcantara, it's quite small, now Tom's kind of said that it's the same size as the stock steering wheel, because it's a bit domed, it just feels like it's a bit more torqued, that's all. It really gives you that race car feel guys, <laughs> there's no doubt about that. Pedals are nicely rated, they're nicely spaced out. The gear shift as well, it's quite mechanical, it is quite, sh it's got a shorter throw. The power of this car guys, 385 horsepower, it's got a hybrid turbo so the power is more kind of manageable, it comes in early, it feels a bit more linear as well. One thing I've got to say about this car guys is, it's not a car that you should be driving one handed like the way I am right now, and the reason for that is if you are, and you literally put your foot down on the throttle, the power, 385 horsepower, goes through the front wheels. It is manageable by the limited slip lift, but there's a lot of torque there. More torque there in this than there was in the Mark II that I drove. And that is obviously, this is the first gen Focus RS, so, you know, technology wise, guys, this probably wasn't up there when it was first launched. Um, I know. Tom's done quite a lot of suspension mods to his BC coil onwards and the LSD, but personally I think 385 to the front wheel is probably a little bit too much, but you know, if you keep it tamed, you know, and you're literally on it all the time, I think you can like have a lot of fun. I mean, it's quite an aggressive car, don't get me wrong on that. It is quite an aggressive car and it makes you feel like you are quite connected and quite uh, involved in the driving experience, so to say. Yeah, I could definitely feel like, say, the steering trying to pull away, get to the crevices of the road. 385, 400-ish horsepower in this is pretty, you don't really want to be pushing more than that. This is a bit of a handful. Thanks, 
is uh, all this. You can really feel it. It's, there's no real body roll in this car. It literally just takes up. And uh, I thought it was a six speed gearbox. Then <laughs> it's actually five, <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, that shift from the throttle. I mean, to touch upon uh, like the, the early days when the when Ford were developing this car. I mean, Colin McRae had a lot to do with developing this car, oh, as yes. I, yeah. and like so he put his own little stampy thing. It's missing four wheel drive. Yeah. I mean, if it had four wheel drive, I think it'd be. It would like, be the perfect setup. Yeah, that's right. Oh, this has got 123,000 miles. By no means, this car feels like a 120,000 mile car to be honest with you. It's quite tall. It's quite, you know, it's quite tight as well in the way it feels. And, all those mods that Tom's done to me, you know, that's up here, Tom, man. You know, you've, uh, you obviously know what you're doing. No, that's <laughs> right. Well, like I say, mate, it was about two years ago now. It had a uh, underbody restoration done by Peter to form the team and now. Right then, guys, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go back to where we started this vid and conclude there. So hopefully, guys, we'll see you there very shortly. What I want to do is give a massive shout out to Tom uh, for giving me the opportunity to get his Mark 1 uh, Focus RS on the channel and also you know, allow me to drive it because obviously it's, pr it's his pride and joy in his build. So massive shout out to you Tom. So guys I just thought I'd conclude in the car about this uh, Mark 1 Focus RS. What do I really think about it then? So I think that Tom's really built this car to a, quite a high standard. You know, the BC coilovers, the engine mods, the hybrid turbo, the way he's polybushed this car. I think literally on those country lanes, the car absolutely comes alive. You know, it is a show car. I mean, it takes it to shows. I wouldn't really use this as a daily because it's probably a little bit too aggressive. But, you know, on a nice kind of a Sunday drive or, you know, a weekend blast or whatever it might be, this car literally comes alive. And I think that's quite key for this car. Um, as I said before guys, you know, I've covered like the Mark II and the Mark III Focus RS. I also went out in the Escort RS Cosworth last week, so be sure to check those videos out and get my kind of comparison across all those kind of cars. What I might do though guys, is I might try and do a vid on the Mark II, III and the Mark I all in one go. Um, and you know, kind of give my, kind of a little summary of what I think about all the cars anyway. Hopefully guys, you've enjoyed this content. Give it a like, share and subscribe to my channel for more car related content, mainly around say Fords and like say the BMs and what have you. I have got quite a few things lined up. So hopefully guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Thanks. Bye.